time to introduce the man that knows more about Ipswich than anyone. He, he researches Ipswich. We've gone from ball punches to what was the other thing? Uh, to the performing sheep. Performing sheep. Last week. Done, and his name is Harold. We call him Harold the H. Ark, 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 Peacock. No, they don't work. <laughs> Harold the H. Peacock, are you there? Uh, yes, I'm here, Danny. How are now, you? Now, mate, uh, any, anything else? What about the one you found out, a bloke who should be on the um, on the cenotaph? Remember? Yeah, well, that's right. Now, he got included on there. So his name is now on the uh, memorial, uh, the honour roll, at the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. So that got done. So you actually got that, that organised after 100 years to get his name included on the... Senator Cenotaph of the War Memorial. Yes, that's right. He was found here in Ipswich, unfortunately deceased in 1919, but was never included in the War Memorial because he was still serving at the time. You are so a his genius. His name is on the roll now. Now, I want Jim... Unfortunately, we've got a, uh, we blew up a, a microphone, a set of headphones this morning. A short, right? It was Danny. Yeah, actually. well, I'm short, so it was a short. <laughs> so we're going to probably... I'm going to let you just tell the story so we can put it back through the speakers and Jim can hear it because Jim's a born and bred local he loves Ipswich and I can't believe nobody's got on to you for what you do for Ipswich with some of these stories that you find so uh, hold on now we're working it out we're handing over another pair of head we can do anything here at West Bremer Radio all right you're ready to tell us about Roy Simons Ipswich's own he disappeared in a shroud of mystery 15 years ago yeah, that's right. Well, of course, it's relevant because, like you said uh, earlier, just before the song, mm. the memorial service for the great Australian cricketer Andrew Roy Simons was yesterday in Townsville. And did you know his nickname Roy mm. came from Leroy Loggins of the Prison Bullet? Oh, I know Leroy's a mate of mine. Hey, is that a true? It is. That is absolutely true. Oh, you just keep telling people. You're just unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, look, it's, it's fitting I tell Excuse you about. Excuse me, your nickname is now, it's Harold the H. Ark Ark Oak Google Brain. I get that a lot, Danny. <laughs> anyway, Roy Simons, hmm. he wasn't a cricketer, but his family were very well known. Hmm. And he disappeared, like you said, 115 years ago. Wow. One uncle was George Barnes, who went to the Ipswich State School mm. for 27 years. He was a member for Warwick mm. in the Queensland Parliament. Right. He was also a long-serving member of the Warwickshire Council, mm. and there's even a monument to him outside of the Warwick Town Hall. Out. And another uncle was Walter Barnes, who mm. also went to the Ipswich State School. Mm. He was a member of the Queensland Parliament for 29 years. Wow. He was twice the Treasurer of Queensland, he was a long-serving member of Coop Rouge Shire Council and was Shire Chairman five times. And there's a memorial to him on the Esplanade at Wynnum. Oh. The Barnes Brothers founded the business Barnes & Co., yes. which were general merchants selling just about everything but specialising in drapery with stores all over southern Queensland. Wow. Then there's a the father of Roy Simons. His name was the Reverend Thomas Simons. He was well known in Ipswich because he served at the Baptist churches at Marburg, Bow Desert, mm. as well as Nanango, Lanefield, and Peachy Terrace in Brisbane, mm. and was later the president of the Baptist Church for the whole of Queensland. Mm. Anyway, Roy Simons was an intelligent young man, smartly dressed, and 15 years old when he came to Ipswich in 1907. Mm. But he didn't stay long. Why you not? see, he was picked up at the Ipswich train station after midnight by the local police sergeant. Mm. And he appeared in the Ipswich Magistrate's Court the next day. For what? Now, well, that's the thing. The magistrate or police didn't know what to do with Roy because he hadn't done anything wrong <laughs> other than being 15 years old and out after midnight. <laughs> so they... God, they'd be shocked them. these days. <laughs> oh, they'd be busy. They're sitting there driving so cars at 15 after midnight. Yeah, well, this Roy was held onto by the police at the magistrate's court, waiting for word to come from Brisbane, which you know, didn't, wasn't all that uh, uh, quick coming back then. But what happened mm. was that Roy mm. had just started work at his uncle's new Barnes & Co. drapery store in Brisbane, right. which back then was on the corner of Rome and Turbot Streets. It's, it's where the magistrate's court is today. Mm. Now, Roy didn't like it, so he ran away the day after the shop opened. He was in his switch on his way to Warwick, hoping to get a job on his uncle's farm there. Hmm. But this is where 
our Roy Simons just disappeared from history. You see, Roy was actually the adopted son of the Reverend Simons. Mm. Roy Simons wasn't his real name, mm. and there's no reference to him in any records after coming to Ipswich. Even when Reverend Simons passed away, the minister's natural children were named, but nothing about Roy. So Ipswich proved to be his undoing, and he arrived here, and young Roy simply vanished from history, never to be seen again. It's like Ipswich is a black hole to history sometimes, but wow. at least his name was remembered this week with the public more of the Roy Simons in Townsville. History out there. You're unbelievable. Some of the stories you tell us and you build on them, your research is impeccable. I think Anastasia Palisade should get you on as a staff member. As a I think she should. In, in, in fact, say hello to uh, Jim Madden. Jim. We had a good historic train journey back in uh, 2015 together uh, with the 150th anniversary of the yeah. railway in Queensland, and that was some good stories there, too. Yeah. It was a great day. Yeah. Toot, toot. You know the little boy said when the train ran over his toes? Toot, 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 toot goodbye. Uh, now, how do we hear this story again and see the story in photographs? Yeah, I'm going to upload the story first thing tomorrow morning on historyoutthere.com. Fantastic, mate. We're talking LV Reels coming up very soon as well, which is an Ipswich company, uh, by the way. It and, started and a here. And historic Queensland family company. That's a great story it, there too. Yes, and we'll also talk to Jim about honeybees. But there he is, the man they call Harold the H. Ark, 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 Google Brain Peacock on West Bremer Radio.